Hello everyone, this is Anushma, an Academy educator and here I welcome you on my channel Witty Wits. Here in this video we will be studying about the essay of studies that is written by Francis Bacon. Uh, let's see what is there in this beautiful essay. Yeah, Francis Bacon, he was born in 1561 and died in 1626. He is uh, an English philosopher, statesman, scientist, jurist, orator and author. Uh, Francis Bacon ko hum father of English essay bhi bolte hai, father of empiricism bhi bola jata hai Bacon ko. So this is very important for examination point of view. Father of essays, father of English essay and father of essays in the thoda confusion rata hai. So father of essays is Monte while father of English essay is Francis Bacon. In case important works dekhte hum, so essays nana likha tha, essays ke andar of studies include kiya gaya hai, which, which is the part of the syllabus. In 1597, he wrote 10 essays. Uske baad 1612 mein total 38 essays liye, jiske andar ye 10 essays bhi included te. In 1625, he wrote 58 essays. Then, uh, in 1605, he has also written Advancement of Learning. So, this important work hai unke jo ki examination point of view. Iske baad hum baat karte hai, uska, uh, baat hum karte hai. So, we will discuss the main essay content. So, let's see what is there. So, in this essay, he Studies serve for delight, for ornament, and for ability. Studies serve means help. Karti hai. Delight yani ki entertain karne ke liye. For ornament means to look attractive, attractive dikne ke liye. And for ability, ability in the sense is potential, to show your potential. To study hamari help karti hai, teen chijo mein, delight karne mein, means entertain karne mein, ornament mein in the sense is attractive dikne mein. And for ability in the sense is to show our potential. The chief use for delight, delight to unka chief use in studies ka, is in privateness and retiring. When you are alone, when, when you are sitting uh, into a private place and retiring, retiring in the sense is when you are having no work, you are you have already completed your work. In retiring studies, uh, it, it gives us delight. For ornament, ornament to show or to uh, look attractive, is in discourse when you are doing some debate. When you are debate, kar rahe hote, to study aapki help karti hai. Or, and for ability, you have to show judgment, your potential. When you are giving judgment, de rahe ho, ya phir disposition of business. When you do some business, some work, then you have to study uh, help karti hai, aapki ability. When you are giving judgment or disposition of business, kar rahe hote, aapki Potential ko show karti ho us case mein. Discourse, yani ki debate mein, jab ornament, yani ki jab debate karte ho aap, to wo aapko attractive dikhati hai. Aur aapko delight, means aapko khush karti hai, jab aap privateness ya retiring ke time pe aap study karte ho. For expert man, expert man means skilled man. Expert man can execute, he can carry out and perhaps judge of particulars one by one. Who skilled person hai? वो study को carry out कर सकते हैं यानि कि उसका use कर सकता है किस में judgment करने में one by one particulars but the general counsels and the floor and marshalling of affairs come best from those that are learned तो general marshalling के जो काम है counseling के काम है या फिर plans बनाना और affairs को marshall करना यानि कि इनको carry on करना arrange करना proper order में ये सब best way में कब कर सकते हो जबकि आप एक learn man हो या फिर learn learn हो to spend too much time in studies is sloth in the sense is laziness बहुत ज़्यादा पढ़ाई करना है बहुत ज़्यादा reading करना show करता है आपकी laziness को to use them too much for ornament is affectation बहुत ज़्यादा ornament में यानी कि बहुत ज़्यादा show off करने में attract attractive दिखने के लिए भी आप study को use कर रहे हो so it is affectation that means ostination, showing off, to make judgment khole by their rules. Or her good study, jo apne padha hai, uske according aap judgment dete ho. So 
इज द ह्यूमर ऑफ ए स्कॉलर तो ये उस स्कॉलर का ह्यूमर है कि वो हर कुछ जो उसने पढ़ा हुआ है उसी कब पे बेस्ड होकर यदि वो जजमेंट देता है तो दिस इज आल्सो नॉट प्रैक्टिकल जब दे परफेक्ट नेचर स्टडी जो है वो हमारे नेचर को डेवलप करती है परफेक्ट बनाती है एंड आर परफेक्टेड बाय एक्सपीरियंस और स्टडी के बाद आप जब एक्सपीरियंस गेन करते हो तब आप परफेक्ट बनते हो फॉर नेचुरल एबिलिटीज आर लाइक नेचुरल प्लांट्स that need pruning pruning by study natural abilities jo human ke andar jo natural ability hai they all are like natural plants jinki pruning in the sense is removing the dead part of a plant that new part can come out so uske liye bhi study help karti hai yani ki aapko brush up karti hai and studies themselves do give four directions to much at large except they by bounded in the experience स्टडीज जो है वो अपने आप में ही आपको बहुत ज्यादा एक्सपीरियंस देती शोज यू डायरेक्शन टू गो फॉरवर्ड एक्सेप्ट इफ यू आर नॉट एक्सपीरियंस यानी कि आपके पास यदि प्रीवियस किसी चीज की नॉलेज नहीं है तो स्टडी आपको डायरेक्शन देती है बट इफ यू आर ऑलरेडी एक्सपीरियंस तो आप स्टडी से कम हेल्प ले पाते हो अपने एक्सपीरियंस को ज्यादा यूज करते हो तो दिस मीन्स देर आर दीज आर दी एक्चुअली यूज ऑफ स्टडीज इन दिस पैराग्राफ Let's see in the second one. 